Hi, welcome to Milgap Farms. Just got a call from our neighbor Lud, the gentleman that cuts my hair and sometimes helps us label. Um, he, he put his tractor in a ditch. So Lud's gonna come over and pick me up and gonna give me a ride over to, to where the tractor is located and then we're gonna pull it out of the ditch and then give me a ride back home. So come along guys, let's see how this plays out. I was not expecting that. All right, Lud, what do you wanna do today? I'll say we put the tractor in the ditch and pull it out a couple of times. <laughs> Okay. Well, actually, this is better than the last time. Last time I put it in on the right side. And this is a this is a higher section of the neighborhood on the left side. Oh. Okay. This has a locust tree there, which is a you know that's a classy tree. If you're going to get a tractor stuck, it ought to be hung around the locust. Well, Wally and Porter haven't figured out where the hay is. Dingleberries. Sheep aren't really smart, are they? Yeah, you might not want to go fast around this corner. You can wind up in the, <laughs> over in another hill. Yeah, with one of your paint or unplayed employees, I guess. It's right there. Where? Right there, man. Remember the day you put the 4x4 four four in the... Oh, gosh, yeah. That was terrible. Scared, that scared me. Yeah, that, that kid, he could have got hurt. <laughs> yeah. Well, worse than that, he could have tore up the 4x4. Four four. Yeah. Well, he did. He, he bent the rims and yeah. messed the seats up, yeah. That part. Yeah, when he when he, he pulled the tires off the rims, so when he went sideways and landed, it, it broke the seed, uh, beat off the rim, off the tire, off the rim, and then uh, subsequently lost air, and then you know, I had to pull everything down and fix it. Wow, this is done pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> this don't make any sense. You know, you know what? The old once I knew he was okay, I mean, it scared me when he told the story, but once I knew he was okay, I said, well, gosh, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, I know it. Equipment's not cheap when you tear it up. But... Could have been worse. How are we looking? Well, we're good for my house. And again, I don't own a body shop anymore. I told Peggy, she said, well, what would you do if the cabin hadn't been there? I said, I guess I would have waited for it. It's not going anywhere. Well, no, it's not. Now, it's, the way it's positioned is coming out of the driveway off to the left-hand side. I think we'll turn the truck around and put it in that lane and pull this way. You going up backwards? No, we'll pull forward, but what we got to do is pull the front end around. Just oh, okay, spin it around. Sure. Spin it around, just ratchet around. The roads are really nice. Yeah. yeah. The road. <laughs> Only one road around here. Thing is in a ditch. I think I was lucky. You are. You're lucky, Lud. Yeah. No, I wasn't lucky. I still got to get a muffler and get the old one fixed. And I just hope it's the muffler and not the uh, exhaust manifold. I think they're really cheap. Hold on. You think we're going to connect this thing? Oh, all right. I know what you want to do. All right, cool. Hold on a minute. You want me to get on a tractor? If you don't mind. Okay, sure. This ought to be a hoot. What do you, what do you want me to do? I'm gonna be stay out my way. Thank you for that. Is your muffler? Yeah. Alright. Toss that in the uh, back of the truck. It's cool now. When I picked it up, it wasn't cool. Is it bent? Bit before I broke it. Man, you are lucky, Ludford. You wear a seatbelt? No, that old seatbelt got in my way. I took it off. Well, you want to connect with the clevis or you want to wrap it? <laughs> that was funny, bud. Oh, this thing's too crowded. Too crowded. Oh, they're just trying to sell you.
charging you for these videos. <laughs> <laughs> Who else do you know that would put his own tractor in the ditch so you can make a loop? I don't know. Nobody. That's mm -hmm. a, is your door shut good? Yeah. Nobody with any sense. Or it's living room. What that? Well, I was going to call you today, see if you needed anything. <laughs> Apparently you do. Took a sweet time, I tell you. <laughs> After doing my driveway, these uh, sticks on the side, they make a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, I need to put up a couple more. I had the uh, dust to dawn lights on, and this year I just never got around to doing it, you know? But at night, a couple times in the winter, they really come in handy trying to find the driveway. Oh my gosh, yeah, especially in the snow. Yep. I said, why'd you stop driving? He said, because I bought a new truck. He said, they didn't want to give me anything for trade-in, so I just decided to keep, oh. keep it and sell it. Gotta go to the little house. Oh, can you take me to the little house? Sorry, brother. I'm a special favors here. I know. When you come back and plow my driveway now, you got more, <laughs> everything jacked up in my snow. Yeah. Massey nice. Ferguson place, I say. See that hill? Come on over and go slave riding with me. Hey, that's pretty. That's gonna be cool. That's gonna be fast. Is that smooth or is that dumb? Oh, it's smooth, yeah. So well, you mowed that, right? I mowed it yeah, twice. Oh. Yeah. Is that your intent to have a ski? Ski yeah. area. Ski nothing. I'm gonna ride the sled down that thing. Goodbye, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Is your wheel made out of am I in it? No, you're not in it. You need some sunglasses. You got any good sunglasses? <laughs> no. I got two pairs, one in the van, one in the truck. See you. Have a good day, bud. Thank you. Call me if you need me again. You see my hit? I got my headlamp on. I gotta go up in the barn and get something. Beautiful day on the farm today, guys. We got the cottage ready for our next guest. The driveway done. Helped Lud get out of a little pickle. I got to go sleigh ride. What a blast. What a good day. Thanks for watching our videos. Please consider giving us a thumbs up. Until next time, God bless you guys. <laughs>